World records have been set in Clash of Clans. The end of the first season challenges gave us 25 million golden elixir, 250,000 dark elixir, and as you can see, a whole ton of loot. We're going to be spending what we can in today's episode. We even have our gold mines, elixir pumps, everything pretty much maxed out. Let me know down in the comments how much golden elixir you have received. I've never seen people complain so much about so much loot. I guess if I had have thought about this beforehand and maxed out my golden elixir 37 thousand golden elixir would have been what we could have got up to and half a million dark now i've got to tell you i've taken some defenses since then not too devastating to be honest with you but i did go ahead and buy a one day shield so that we could then record this video we're going to be purchasing the gold pack for the new season challenges because the gladiator queen skin i think is absolutely epic before before we get into spending all of that golden elixir, let's go ahead and purchase the gold pack right now. Your purchase was successful. The gold pass has been received. So we get to do it all over again. 25 million golden elixir in the season pass. We're not going to gem any of this. But if you do want to see gameplay of the Gladiator Queen, I do have a video on that. I will link it at the end of this one. But let's see what we can spend. Even the Dark Elixir, even if we were to gem the Ice Golem, I don't think we could actually do much. I... Oh, three days and 500 gems. Do we do it, guys? I... Honestly, I... I just think speeding things up just isn't worth it, but oh, gotta be done. Half a million dark. We could get the ice golem up to level five, but I've been wanting to see the hog riders. Level nine, let me know what you think you would upgrade. But if we had a book of fighting, it would work. That's as much dark elixir as we can spend. And we've got, check this out, guys. Enough. Oh, we don't. We don't. 240 is the maxed. So we haven't even got our storages to the point of being able to collect anything. Let's throw on our progress base. If we can, we can't. Probably because of this gem mine. So let's get rid of that. Then, ugh, honestly, we got to wait 30 seconds. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do is upgrade the Archer Towers to maxed level. I think we still have one or two and the cannons as well in order to try and spend as much as possible. Now, for the Elixir, we actually have no upgrades left. So we're going to just blast all of that into walls. You guys throughout these Let's Play episodes have been telling me as well, Judo, up upgrade your walls, buddy. And I keep telling you that, honestly... <sighs> I don't find them that pivotal, but for you guys, for you guys, we're going to do it right now. Let's just choose this pack here and let's power through. Ah, oh, we could really do with having the perks. I miss it already. The walls are back to 2 million, but in order to not just lose all of that elixir every single time we get raided, I am going to go ahead and just plow a lot of it in here. So in terms of this has got to have set a new world record in Clash of Clans. Again, 37 million golden elixir could have been the top that anyone has got. Let me know down in the comments what you got. I'll be excited to know. But man, we are nearly done already. I can't believe how quickly all of that elixir has gone. Wow. Wow absolutely insane let's go ahead and collect that yeah we'll go ahead and upgrade one more for you guys one more and then uh, we've only got three builders is the issue so actually we have all of the archer towers done let's go ahead and upgrade one of the cannons that's 12 million bump actually this isn't going to work out too bad guys because oh we have a book of building i didn't even realize that but i don't think we actually need to use it let's go ahead and upgrade that for 12 million and we have 9 million gold. We could upgrade something else, probably at the end of the episode. Probably shouldn't have even done that. But 
anyone anyone that uh, had the loot cart stuck in the middle of the base as well, let me know. I heard reports that people had their loot cart spawn like in their base and then couldn't collect it because they had too much loot. How frustrating would that have been? But let's get out, guys. Let's do our first attack. Uh, I think probably because one of our builders is going to be finished in like two days. If we were to spend that gold again on a cannon, that's probably worth it. I've been farming with the um, the miners because it's my favorite farming army and I've been getting Dark Elixir, but actually we are not going to need that army anymore. We've got too much of it. If anything, guys, we should actually go with a Dark Elixir army. So let's have a look. Why don't we go with like witches? All witches, just get rid of that Dark Elixir. We don't need it. We could give it to you guys when you raid me, but let's just see what we can do. We don't need heal spells for witches. We need rage, freeze, freeze, freeze. Let's take a jump just in case, and probably another freeze. That's for the next attack. Let's get out there. Let's find a base that we can wreck with the miners, try and get some gold for this Let's Play series. And again, if we're gonna take forever in the clouds because everyone's trying to raid everyone's huge amount of loot, let's come back once we have a base to attack. Okay guys, we don't have a crazy amount, but I think we've got a good chance of getting all of it. Again, 4,000 Dark Elixir. I am sorry, buddy. I'm going to take your Dark Elixir for absolutely no reason. Now, for the miners, you've got to get into the base. You've got to try and get that Eagle Artillery. I am a little bit gutted that there is a single Inferno there. That's not ideal. Um, maybe we could take the miners in from that region and actually charge in from the south. Let's try and do that instead, actually, guys. Um, let's go ahead and put... Baby drag with a balloon there to try and get that archer tower down. Come on, get that down. Boom. Now we should be able to funnel the queen. Absolutely no problem. Let's put a minion there just to ensure we get that down. And let's start the queen here with the healers out of range of the air defense. And we'll press the wall wrecker in from, let's see, baby dragon here. Queen's got the cannon occupied. Let's get the wall wrecker in. That wall wrecker needs to get towards the town hall, essentially, guys. We've got to get that down. Let's put a balloon in here to help that baby dragon. It's tanking the archer tower and a bunch of the air targeting defenses. Going to rage the queen in a second. Got to be careful on time here. Balloon did a nice job getting that archer tower. And we didn't quite get to the town hall, but as long as the queen goes into the base here... Um, we'll be able to get it down. Oh, I was, what I was going to say is the P.E.K.K.A. taking down the Queen might not do us a favor here, guys, because, um, essentially, it... Let's see, let's get the King started there with a couple of Wizards. The P.E.K.K.A. taking down the Queen means I didn't necessarily have anything to draw my Queen in. And awesome, the healers have gone to the P.E.K.K.A. Well done. Well done. That is not going to be helpful, however... Uh, where can we bring the miners in from? Honestly, I don't even know. Let's just go from the top here and see what happens. Uh, not an ideal funnel for the miners. Let's use the Grand Warden. We've got a rage for them, though. Rage that king. Heal that. I did want to try and take down the, um, the Eagle Artillery with the miners, essentially. As that fires up, Grand Warden, get forward, buddy. Let's use that ability. Let's use a heal. And maybe another heal here, because we're struggling. And a rage. Remember, we don't need the Dark Elixir. Guys, do you want to, like, get forward to the Town Hall? This is nuts. We got a lot of them, guys, but I think we're going to be good here. Queen has done okay. We got a lot of the loot, but we're not going to get all of it. 80%. Oh, yeah, great. Go for the Dark Elixir. Exactly what we do not need. Wall Wrecker not getting far enough. Healers swapping to the Queen didn't help us, meaning that we couldn't quite get that Town Hall, but... Hey, that's how it crumbles sometimes. We got an okay amount of loot. Not amazing, but let's see whether the witches, the Dark Elixir army, can do any better. We have came across an interesting base for the witches. Half a million gold, but the reason it's interesting is that there are three single target infernos, not something that you will see commonly. And I think I'm going to push in from this area first first to get the eagle artillery down now we didn't really bring any troops to funnel so what we're going to try and do here is use the king to funnel this bit let's use like the queen here 
Um, spread the witches here a bit to absorb fire, then the wrecker coming in. Remember, the wrecker needs to stay alive. Wow, Queen's ability getting used early on here. Now let's spread a few more witches. Let's get a rage spell in quick. We need to try and get the wizard tower and eagle down. Looking good, guys. Uh, should have probably put the wizard in with the king, but let's just go for that. Grand Warden's ability going to have to be used as the eagle artillery fire comes up here. Let's use it now. And then we do have the freeze spells as well. Should have probably used that as well for the um, for the single infernos and the king and queen. But we might be able to use it as we come through. Let's just see what happens here. We're not doing too bad. Uh, let's use the jump spell like... Actually, let's not use it yet because the wreck is actually doing okay. Let's use the jump spell here. Bumpf. Now let's freeze the queen so that she doesn't get the wrecker taken down too much. Bomb tower, let's get that frozen, doing a lot of damage there onto our witches. Didn't even see that. Come on, take that down. Not doing too bad, guys. We're not doing too bad. What we've only got... Uh, let's just use the poison just, like, because we can. Uh, not No other reason. Uh, probably going to save the, uh, the freezes now for the... Um, what's that thing called? Giga Tesla, Town Hall, and the Wizard Tower. So, let's go ahead and get that frozen, which, which is now spreading everywhere. Not ideal, guys. We haven't got that much of the gold. And from wrecking it, that was looking so good. Where did they all go? Man. I feel like we need to try the witches again, but we need to change something up here. So let's do one more attack, but let's change it. See if we can wreck with the witches. Amazingly, the first base we came across with a decent amount of loot also has three single target infernos. Now, I did mix it up a bit. I've brought some ballers. We've brought the stone slammer as well to see if we could use that anyway in terms of like creating the funnel or something like that. And honestly, I think it is probably best to use... Oh, I can't make my mind up. Um, We're going to have to pick somewhere, guys. I'm trying to track its progress here. We've got no balloons to distract that air defense. We're going to have to use it. Let's just see. A couple of giants to at least tank for the archer tower. Then it's only attracting the fire of the um, the air defense. Then let's just see what happens. Let's. I think I might use a rage spell here as well. I've, oh, come on. It left the air defense. Let's use a rage there just to power them balloons forward and just see what they do. If they can create a nice little funnel, which they're not doing too bad. They're going to go down to this wizard tower, unfortunately. Can they get it? Nice. Come on. Yes, that means a baller can take that out. Uh, actually, let's put just one witch there as well. Then let's put the king here. This is a bit funky, guys. I'm not, honestly not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, let's put another witch there. Let's let that create a bit of a funnel. Let's use... Actually, let's use a jump here for the king to get in. Let's do that. A couple of ballers here to cut off that funnel. So that the king and the witches go into the base as they do. We've got a minute 45, so we're going to have to start hurrying it up here. Use that there. Then let's go ballers and witches. Get into the base with the Grand Warden, with the Queen. I don't know. We've got some dragons in there. We've got some dragons in there which are not going to help. Let's get the jump spell in to hopefully power everything forward. Let's freeze that eagle before it... Ah, oh, we missed it. We missed it. Right, let's use the ability. Ah, Queen's going to have to use her ability now as well. And then let's freeze this, which is the eagle and the giga. Let's rage everything through. Queen's doing nice. Hopefully we don't lose too much here to the giga bomb because we'd already used the Grand Warden's ability. We didn't lose too much. We're not doing too bad in terms of the loot either. But we're not going to get the three guys. Unfortunate. I mean, bit of a crazy attack considering I was just kind of making it up as we went along. 160,000 elixir we're going to miss out on. Not the end of the world, because we did have, like, what was it? 30 million at the start of the episode. But that is going to be the end of this attack, and all it leaves is to go back to base and spend the maximum gold that we have. We're going to finish up. Can we get to 70%? Can we get to 70%? Grand Warden, going to get it done. Big old 7-0.
for us today so let's go ahead and upgrade i think we should probably go with another cannon yeah i mean that's maximum bump we've got nothing left until we collect that and let's see what we've done today guys couple of rewards oh nice we already have the one gem donations for me that makes the gold pass all worth it wow my screen is going a bit nuts here guys so f thankfully we're finishing off the episode let's get that gold let's get the power portion let's get the boost wow what how did we do all of this let's get the hero portion let's get the 10 percent research boost i'm gonna leave the training portion for the moment just because I can actually purchase one here, and I always tend to use the training potions when I'm recording videos. But that wraps it up for this one. Let me know how much Golden Elixir you got down in the comments. Stay tuned for my le next Let's Play episode. I will link the previous one we did on your screen right now, but that is going to wrap it up for this one. Until next time, peace out.